Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcraft, and today we're going to be talking about my new favorite wax, M12. Now, of course, before we jump into the full review of the M12, I do sell this wax, but if you've been watching the channel for any length of time, you would know that even if I do like a wax or dislike a wax, uh, if I'm selling the wax, I'm gonna let you know exactly what I think of the wax, good or bad. It just so happens that this is a lot of good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into this one. I've been using the M12 wax for a, quite a while now. Uh, I got it the first time probably over a year ago, and then, of course, I just got it in the new candle supply store, uh, and, of course, if you haven't been on the website, it's DIYCandlesupply.com. So definitely jump over there, take a look at everything. Uh, but the M12 wax, uh, I got a bunch of different waxes from all season wax. I got their soy, their deluxe soy, their B soy, the M12, and then their cocoa soy. Uh, and I've been going through and testing a lot of those. I also got their A27, which is their melt wax. And the M12 is easily standing out as my favorite wax in that lineup. And if you missed the last video, the M12 is a cocoa soy blend. Uh, it does have an additive in there that's derived from petroleum jelly. So if you're looking for a wax, uh, kind of along the lines of like maybe a 6006, something not really a cocoa paraffin blend or a soy paraffin blend, uh, but it's gonna be in kind of in that category where it does have a blend to help you get uh, smoother tops, a nicer look, uh, no sinkholes, which is huge for me, especially coming from 6006. And that is absolutely what this M12 does. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play a bunch of videos. I've been burning this in a bunch of different things. Uh, I've been burning it in uh, the metal tins with a single wick, uh, burning this one in a double wick. All right, so here is the M12 with apple maple bourbon. And this is in one of the nine ounce Stanley tins and this has been burning for a couple hours now and I was gonna point out one of the nice things about these solid metal tins is this thing's been burning for a couple hours you can see the melt pool like all the way down to the bottom there and still able to hold this thing with no issues you definitely still want to put these on a surface that can burn uh, that is a little hot on that side, that's for sure. <laughs> that wick is a little close on there. Uh, but gripping it on that side right there, perfectly, perfectly able to hold that thing without burning my hands. So wick placement is gonna be key because like I just said, that right there is definitely a little warm to touch. I mean, you can definitely do it, but it is much hotter on that side than it is right there. Uh, but again, I've gone through this entire candle. The hot throw on this is really nice. You can see those wicks balling up just a little bit. Uh, but that is obviously, again, just because it's been burning for a couple hours. And of course, I've been burning it in the Lumen Vogues that I sell also, also in a single wick and a double wick. And for me, between those two vessels, the metal and the lumens, I absolutely prefer the double wick in these. It burns a little bit nicer. The flame is a lot lower. You get a nice, strong hot throw. And that's one thing I will say with the M12, the hot throw on this is really nice. So if you're looking to get maybe away from 6006, uh, and as you know, I've been using 6006 for years, uh, even with its negative or cons, uh, I do love 6006. But of course, everybody that deals with 6006, you know that you're gonna be dealing with sinkholes. And that was, and that is absolutely the biggest con that I can say for 6006. Uh, it's a good wax, but every time you pour, almost no matter what you pour, you're gonna have huge sinkholes that you have to take care of. And if you're pouring 40, 50, 60 candles, uh, and then you have to go back through and fix all 60 candles, with a heat gun, I mean, you're there for another 20, 30 minutes just smoothing the, these things out. And it really makes you second guess using that wax ever again. And with this M12, I don't get any of that. I don't get any of those sinkholes. You do get a little bit of a dipping. So uh, when you pour these things, uh, the taller the vessel that you have, or maybe the wider the vessel you have, you will get a little bit of a divot in the middle. 
Uh, and again, it depends on what vessel. When I poured it in these, I get nothing. It's a single pour and I'm done. I poured it inside the Lumen and I do get a little bit of a dip in those. Uh, and the dip in most of the ones that I pulled, I'd say almost like 99% of them, I didn't even go over with a heat gun. I'd literally just let it sit. Uh, the dip was almost, it wasn't even noticeable in most of them and I just left. And I'll go ahead and show you this one. This is the single wick, Let's see if I can get that in there. So that's the one I showed you before. I haven't burned this one since that last video, but you can see that little rim or that ring of wax that's around the tin. That's with the LCS 80 inside this one. But the other thing I wanna show you is just look how smooth that wax is once you burn it. And then of course, jumping to this one is the double wick. And you can see how much further that one has burned down. But that one, I mean, that's probably a good 10 or 12 burns and that wax is still smooth. Uh, now me personally, I really don't mind what a wax looks like after it's burned in the candle. Uh, I really don't care. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Uh, some people don't like it. Some people like to have a kind of a nice looking candle when it's done burning. Uh, if that is something that you're concerned with, this is a great wax to go to. But again, the double wick in the lumen and the metal ones, uh, they just burn so much better. The flame is nice and small. It throws really well. And again, it, thro and it throws within 24 hours. The first one that I tested, the first time I poured this, uh, I always burn a candle in a wax 24 hours later just to see what it does. Most waxes you wanna wait a little bit longer than that one, especially softer waxes like soy or cocoa soy. You definitely wanna wait a few days to possibly a week. But this one, since it's a little bit harder of a wax, I decided to test it again at 24 hours. Uh, the cold throw was really nice and the hot throw was absolutely amazing. Uh, we've got a bigger upstairs and within the first hour, and I let this one burn for probably about three to four hours each time I was burning the lumen, uh, it filled the entire upstairs. The hot throw was incredible. And I honestly have been nothing but impressed with the M12. The glass adhesion is really nice. Uh, I need to get it into some clear ones, but again, you can see all the way around that one, there's really no gaps like you would see with uh, a harder paraffin, like a 6006, how it pulls from the sides. The adhesion before and after burning is really nice on this. And I can absolutely confidently say that this is one of the nicest waxes out there. And I don't just say that because I like it and I'm selling it. I say that because in the Facebook group, people have already been using this for well over a month now. Uh, and a lot of people are really liking it. And of course we do have the two pound two sample bags. I've got them on the website. So if anybody wants to try this wax out, it's real quick and easy to work with. So definitely get over there, try some out if you like. And if you do end up using it, please let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below or of course over on the Facebook group. But I can almost guarantee that you're gonna like this wax, especially if you're looking for something to replace like a 6006 or just something with a better hot throw that has a little bit more soy or coconut soy in it. And of course, if you don't mind having a wax that has an additive in it, which a lot of people don't. But again, if you don't wanna have any kind of additive in your wax, I do sell a couple of them over there. The Pure Soy S100 is an all 100% soy wax. It's a really nice wax for anybody that's looking for a pure soy. And again, I've got sample packages of every single one of those, except the bee soy. That one comes in just the bigger blocks because it's harder to put into the smaller bags. But definitely jump over to the website, uh, try some of the sample packages out, and please let me know what you think of them. So that's it with this one. I do have a lot more videos coming up with the M12 because I did switch all of my candles, uh, all the wax over to the M12. So I've got a lot more stuff coming up with the M12. So if you do have any future questions on the M12, please just let me know and I'll go ahead and update future videos to show that. And of course, we'll see you in the next video.